On January 14, 2011, former Tunisian President Zin al Abidin Ben Ali fled to Saudi Arabia, where he later died in exile just last year. In what was later considered the start of the Arab Spring, people took to the streets calling for freedom and dignity. Nine years on, some of the objectives of the 2011 revolution have been achieved, but many Tunisians are still waiting for change in the North African state. Adnan Chouachi has more. Nine years after the 2011 popular uprising in Tunisia, many people still commemorate this special day which changed the course of history in the country. Tunisia organized its free, fair and independent legislative and presidential elections in 2019. However, freedom is often described as the unique achievement. The freedom of the press and speech are the main achievements of the revolution. In addition, the political transition is so far successful. The civil society is very active and unions are strong, yet there are many challenges ahead. Many goals, mainly economic and social, remain unfulfilled. The unemployment rate is still high and the purchasing power of the middle class has plunged in recent years. Security is a daily concern. Economic and social problems have not been resolved by their successful governments. Freedom is precious, but we do not eat freedom. Everything is more expensive, like food, water, electricity, healthcare, and services in general. In October 2019, the Committee of the Martyrs and Wounded of the Revolution had published the final list of the martyrs and the wounded. The list includes the names of 129 martyrs and 634 wounded. But the final list has not been published in the official Gazette. Over 3,000 youths who suffered physical injuries in 2011 are still calling for justice. Many say they are not concerned about the implementation of Decree Number 97 on the victims' compensation. I'm not here to celebrate. I'm sad because those who killed or injured civilians are still free. They should be held to account so that we can turn the page and move forward. In 2011, many policemen died in the line of duty. The Interior Ministry said it will seek to secure the right of its staff and to have them listed among the martyrs and the wounded of the revolution. Tunisian President Qais Saeed has promised to realize the key demands of the revolution, freedom, work and dignity within what he described as the framework of the constitution and with legitimacy. However, the Secretary General of the Labour Union has warned against a second revolution if the state does not fulfill the economic and social demands of the people. Adnan Shabashi, CGTN, Tunis.